more than a decade, the African American Health Coalition watched as its volunteer efforts turned into a movement to improve health and save lives among African Americans in Oregon. The once volunteer organization based in Portland is now a professional, community based, multi million dollar nonprofit organization moving full force to make Portland's African American community the healthiest in the nation. What we're really doing, I think, most effectively is listening to the community and letting them tell us what they're willing to do. You know, you can have the best program, the best design program in the world, but if the community doesn't buy into it, or if they're not connected to it, it won't be effective. I have to meet people on the road where they are, and as a, as a physician, that's a big part of my approach to patients. And I think the coalition does the same thing. It goes in and it looks at the needs in the community. It makes a needs assessment. It asks people, what kinds of services would be helpful to you? How can we really impact your health? And that's where we go. The work of improving health among African Americans is a challenge when you consider the statistics. In Oregon, African Americans die more often of preventable diseases than white Americans. It happens for a variety of reasons. People look at the community in Portland and think of it as a small community and say, oh, well, there, there can't be really that much of a problem. But if you look at the statistics, not just for Portland, but nationally, you know, what you see is that uh, African American people enter into care later. Um, they have a higher severity of disease. Um, so therefore, they have higher morbidity. They die more from those diseases. And primarily what we're talking about is cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and breast cancer. Our vision is to be the healthiest African American community in the nation. When you think about the fact that we're less than 2% of the population in Oregon, and over 80% of that 2% is located in the Portland metro area, we can do this. We can get the word out. And we are well on our way because of partnerships with a variety of organizations on a local, state, and federal level. Organizations that care about people, like Eli Lilly, who has donated to the coalition since its early years. And the people who are at the coalition are just first-rate people, from the management to the board to the volunteers that get involved. It was a very good fit, and it was an easy decision for us, actually. The community trademark of the African American Health Coalition is its annual wellness village. The village attracts more than 800 people in the community who come for health screening. Testing. K. H. O. And fun. For some, it's the only time of year they see a doctor or gather life saving information that changes lives. The number one killer of African Americans in Oregon is cardiovascular disease. To drive down those deadly statistics, the first annual Wellness Within Reach Walk was born in 2003. Hundreds took to the streets to promote better health among African Americans, and many pledged to improve their lifestyles long term. You know, I'm so happy I'm able to do it, and I do have the health to do it, and I'm going to support this in every way I can. One, two, three. The African American Health Coalition recognizes the need for ongoing programs outside of once a year events. That's why it asked the community what it would take to get community members to stick to long term health goals. They set a free exercise program close to home that catered to their population. And that's what they got. Two, three. It's the Wellness Within Reach Mind, Body, and Soul program. And it's thanks to a federal grant called REACH, or Racial and Ethnic Approaches to Community Health. I guess the most exciting aspect is that people are taking a hold of this thing. And it's not just a program. We thought it was just a program. What it's starting to become is a movement. It started out small, but it grew <laughs> rapidly. Uh, within a week, it was really folks coming in from everywhere. In fact, there was no place to park. <laughs> this is probably one of the largest classes that I've had in the last Ooh, since in the late 70s. So that showed me right there that this is what we needed. You know, the fact that it's free, like you said, accessible, and uh, we just have good support to get it done, and the advertising was good, too. For Audrey Holt, a mother of five, this class has boosted her confidence and made her into a community example of healthy living. And not just for me, but for the elder women and men. We had a 
gentleman who was 80, 80 years old in the class, and I just applauded him. I said, if he can do it, my God, I know. <laughs> I know. You know, he gave me inspiration. So I applaud. I applaud the program. I applaud it. From 21 years old to, to 87, folks are just saying, I feel better about myself, I look better, and I feel like I can go on, I have hope. And it, that all stems from feeling better and doing better physically. I'm seeing consistency. I'm seeing where people are getting results. Like uh, one lady in the class in particular, she lost already 20 pounds. And that's just only through exercise. So I'm just saying that it's paying off. It's paying off for um, a lot of people. This is just the tip of the iceberg right now. I want to be an old man and, and sit back and laugh with my grandkids and, and be able to say I had something or a little part to do with it. But that's part of the deal. We don't want it to be here just for a little bit. We want it to be here forever. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to sustain this program and keep it here forever. Exercise is only one program aimed at improving health among African Americans. There are many more. The coalition tackles diabetes with its linkage program that teaches better health through nutrition. More women are going for early detection breast cancer screening thanks to our breast and cervical cancer program. Can anyone tell me the difference between HIV and AIDS? Even the stigma of HIV and AIDS in the community has a place within the educational movement of the coalition as free testing and classes are now available. The work of a federal grant called NAT, or Not Afraid to Talk, Test, or Transform. I love that the coalition is so broad that under healthcare, you can be looking at anything from HIV to addiction to mental health to diabetes, and that it's all encompassing and community based. I was just attracted to it and actually just honored to be asked to be part of it. The coalition movement to improve African American health by first listening to the community and then giving them the life saving programs they ask for is paying off. Not only are the programs full and successful, this effort has won the coalition media headlines, both in print and on the airwaves. The new program aims to keep Portland's minorities looking as good on the inside as they do on the outside. Well, most of us talk rather openly to our hairdressers. Well, now that open line of communication is being tapped to help educate local people about the dangers of heart disease. Especially if you're taking good care of their hair, they really trust you. Building on that trust, Darlene will soon offer her clients a new service. She's being trained by the African American Health Coalition to speak to her customers about heart disease. Today, the African American Health Coalition held its first annual Wellness Within Reach Walk. The event drew hundreds of people to Northeast Portland. The group wants African Americans in Oregon to be the healthiest in the nation. The African American Health Coalition came up with that idea for the walk. They want to encourage African Americans to get moving and improve their health. The African American Health Coalition is becoming a household name in Portland. That People are becoming more familiar with the coalition and its work. The fact that on a federal level, on a national level, the work of the coalition is being taken seriously and they are supporting the work of the coalition in funding dollars. Our motto is a healthy community starts with you. And so we certainly need personal involvement and personal change. But we need all of those systems working together. We need to work with the healthcare system. We need to work with local and state government, private foundations, and the community itself. And we really want to build this infrastructure and sustain these efforts in the community long after this federal funding has gone. The vision has only gotten bigger. It's not that they changed course. It's not that they rearranged what they were doing because they already had a sound business plan, uh, sound ideas about what it is they wanted to accomplish. And so basically, it just getting more dollars into the organization, getting more resources, get building more partnerships with various organizations, agencies, and, and corporations has given these guys a bigger uh, uh, voice in the community. Anytime you have one race continuing to have poorer health outcomes than the dominant population, it is everybody's responsibility to be concerned because it drives health care costs and prevention is the key and it's a way for everyone to benefit. It's a win-win situation for us to help prevent chronic illness and disease in African Americans and we need everyone's help. A healthy community starts with you. Will you help us reach our goal to become the healthiest African-American community in the nation? We need your help today.